Hey guys, it's Aquila Dehan, and this is a Lefty Knitter podcast. <sighs> Sorry, I'm moving that back a little because I feel like I'm really up close. I don't have much to show you this week, and I'm recording again just on the same day. And don't have, like, episode or videos to all just paste together. Again, we were sick. It was just a, a rough week. <laughs> That's life. Yep, life. And so, yeah, I'll just jump right in and start showing you guys. This is a bag that is from actually 31 bags. Everybody's probably heard of those. They're one of those like Avon or Mary Kay or whatever. And I just had uh, Q put on it. It's gonna keep going in and out focus. I did not weave in the ends on these like I said I was going to to be able to show them this week. I just didn't get to it. But these are, I've showed them on the podcast before, the Wolf and Fawn Knits Earth Mama Leg Warmers. My husband bought this pattern for me. He bought the yarn for me. It's by Nat Red Wolf. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. It's spelled a little different, but I'm assuming that's the pronunciation. When I started casting on the second one of this, the setup round before I got to the chart confused me a little bit, only because if I would have set it up the same way, the button would have been on the same side and then I would have had two of the same leg warmer. Unless I read it wrong, I don't know. Maybe I set up the first one as the right one and this one was supposed to be the left one. Let me, I'll just put it on my arm to demonstrate. And I'll tell you about the yarn in a minute. So here's the top. It has a buttonhole right here. So this will get folded down eventually at the top of your calf, right below your knee. It has this cable. On the back, it's a rib pattern for stretchiness and at the bottom it's all these tiny little cables the yarn um, this is also the pattern that I was like oh do they really make a three and a half US needle or whatever they do I just don't have it I started the second one here it is I have my ball of yarn caked up in there there's the buttonhole and if I wouldn't have changed where the chart started, my cables would have been on the same side. So I've only done like two rows of the chart and it's an eight row chart and you repeat it 14 times. As you can see, you repeat it a lot of times. The yarn is Quince & Company Chickadee, which I had never used this before. This is Kitty Wake, uh, Heather Kitty Wake color 151. John bought four of these. Maybe if I was doing the larger size, there's two sizes to this pattern, I would have needed all four. But this is still the second ball in here and I'm gonna get quite a few repeats before I cast on that third ball. Cause even here, I was this far down the leg. That's pretty far. This is the bottom of the leg. I just folded it up to show you. Here's my join. So I got pretty far before I had to join and I only did this much with the second ball. So I'm pretty sure I'm only gonna need three balls of this. And I'm just using um, little circular needles. The, the top ribbing calls for a smaller size, which I did not have the US three and a half because it was a 3.5 millimeter. And these are 12 inch high highs. I don't know if it's gonna focus. And then the, the ones I'm using now are my, perf uh, no, sorry. These are Addy Turbos in a US 4. And these are 10 inches. And I was not thinking when <clears throat> I transferred these to the um, Addy Turbos because on the Addy Turbos, you have one side that's longer and one side that's shorter. You can one needle 
it gets longer and shorter. You can see that, right? Oh my goodness, maybe not. And it's a significant amount shorter. And I didn't think about that when I was putting it on these needles and working my working needle I like to be the smaller needle because it's easier to manipulate and move it around and the the needle I'm picking up all the stitches from is the longer needle because it gives me more <clears throat> length there to hold on yeah wasn't wasn't thinking <clears throat> I really hate not showing much and it's going to be the next project that I cast on is actually a project I've done previously in the podcast as a present for my other daughter, MJ. So you guys have seen these actually knit in the same colors, but I'm making them for somebody else. So I shouldn't apologize. I'm, I'm, I'm working on what I want to work on and... Hannah from the uh, Crochet Cottage, the no, Crochet, yeah, Cro <laughs> what is her podcast? The Cozy Crochet? No. H Hannah Sigmund, she lives in Florida. She just, I watched a podcast of her, an episode of hers, like, I think it was like three episodes prior, old, and she was talking about how she might not always have a lot to show and she shouldn't have to apologize for that and she's doing what makes her happy and if that's just sitting on her couch watching TV and not doing anything, she needs to do what she needs to do for herself because that's just how it is. You should really watch her. She's great. She's very uplifting and she's straightforward and tells it like it is and I really do enjoy watching her podcast. This is the underwing mitts that I'm going to show. These are by Erica Hauser. I've made these before. I've made the elephant ones, the peaceable mitts that she also did. And I am almost done the chart on the first one. These are for somebody uh, commissioned. Um, we're trading. I really do believe in buying from... Um, local artist or even it, it, they don't have to be local to you but just I believe in uh, supporting artists and she likes to paint and she likes to paint real celestial and cat type themed stuff so I told her I gave her very broad idea of what would be cool and I'm letting her run with it because she's the artist and I feel like uh, that's what you should do when you're pretty much getting it you know, something not so much for free because we're trading, but still. These I'm doing, and that's what I thought I was using on my the other needles. Huh. <clears throat> these are Koigu needles, and I love, these are probably my favorite brand, one of my favorite brands of needles. And these are nine inch circulars, and there it is so far. It's curling a little, but you get the idea. And the yarn I'm using is, <clears throat> the, the white is a Knit Picks palette, but the black, I use this in my um, flax sweater that I did. The body of it I did in this. This is Cascade Yarns, which I did not realize it's Cascade 220 fingering. I didn't know they made a fingering weight in the Cascade 220 till I had found this in the store and I had bought one too many skeins for my sweater, so I had extra of this, and this is 50 grams, 273 yards, and this is just also black. And this is 100% wool, it has no nylon in it. The first time I made these mitts, I did Magic Loop, which I regretted doing Magic Loop the first time, because when you're floating your yarn on the back at the the ends where you're magic looping at i was pulling my floats way too tight and yeah i, I actually borrowed the ones that i made <laughs> here here's the first ones i made <clears throat> you can tell they're they're well loved <laughs> they're pilling gotta get a little thing to clean these up but i don't know if 
you can tell now that she's worn them a lot that the floats on the inside were really tight but maybe you can because when you flip it inside out you can actually really see a tight tight seam where those floats were you can really see it on this side there's that tight seam from when I was pulling the floats too tight doing magic loop and I've learned my lesson don't do magic loop on these or if I do I have to really watch my floats on those corners but I really like that her patterns are really easy and well written now on these ones I am uh, she did request that the wings the little underwing part that you color in it's like these couple stitches they're uh, double duplicate stitched uh, she wants like a baby pink so I gotta send her some pictures of some baby pinks that I have I have a really pretty variegated baby pink that has uh, Stellina in it and I think that would be really fun in those so that's the underwing mitts this is getting to be a very long video these are US size ones I didn't mention that so there you go I also purchased now I'm on to purchases, but I had seen this and then I had forgotten all about it. And then it popped up again in my Instagram feed. I follow the person on Instagram and she sells these pins. This is what she has in her shop and it's knit by a lefty. And the pin even says knit by a lefty and it's the cutest. I got to put it on one of my bags, um, but her shop is called knit, uh, <clears throat> excuse me knit by lefty and her IG just like on the front says it's knit by lefty so of course I'm a lefty and I'm gonna support those artists yeah so that was really I was really happy to get that her name's Ellen and yeah and then I bought a dress pattern I don't sew I've sewn very simple projects you've seen it quilt top I made and I've made pillowcases and that's about it. I bought the Klein dress. I saw people making this on Instagram and I thought it was super cute and it's adaptable to add pockets, which of course I don't sew. How am I going to add pockets to something that looks so foreign to me? Oh, the designer is Kelly Faye. This is completely foreign. To me I pulled out the little booklet and was reading it and yeah I went to Joann's though and I bought the little fast the you need notions you need the bra ring hooks mm -hmm. like to adjust the dress straps and I bought fabric I took a dress with me that I really like from Old Navy, and it was 100% rayon, I believe. So they did have 100% rayon. Now this called for very lightweight wovens, it says, work best, silk, I don't even know how to pronounce this, voile, voile, v-o-i-l-e, rayon chalice, chalice, crepe, poplin, gingham, linen, shirting, double gauze. If considering knits, lightweight knits that have 100% recovery or less than 50% stretch. I bought fabric that was 100% rayon. It didn't have any stretch to it, just like the dress that I took with me because I was like pulling on it and then I was pulling on all the fabrics. And then I bought another fabric that has some stretch in it. It had like 5% polyester. And, or, um, not polyester, Ela like some sort of elastic name. And I bought that. This is going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. I'm going to be Googling every little word in this book. Because when it says doing certain things, I don't have a clue what any of it means. So if anybody sews and wants to, like, be my Instagram message buddy and I can message them whenever I need to and that would be amazing. Let me know down below. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And that's that's not everything that has been purchased. Um, I'm going to insert a small video after this video and my husband 
purchase this yarn and I'm gonna we're gonna show that um, we have to go outside that sounds crazy but you'll see why all right so I'm gonna end this I hope everybody's having a great week and I can't apologize I shouldn't apologize for saying sorry for for saying I don't have a lot to show but when you just don't have time or people your family's not been well and you just are tired as all heck you don't get much done and that's just what it all comes down to so I hope everybody sticks with me and let me know if you want to see any of the sewing stuff on here I know I showed the pattern but maybe I'll, I'll if people don't really want to see it on the videos maybe I'll just keep it to like Instagram stories or something it's gonna be a disaster maybe I'll just wait and show the finished product and that's it I bought muslin too because people are like oh you should make muslin and then my husband's like why did you buy stuff to make a dress that you're never gonna wear and I was like because that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> I don't know yeah there we go well I hope everybody is enjoying this a beautiful weekend that we're having right now at least we are yeah we're gonna get outside today definitely all right I'm gonna insert that video and then I'll see you guys next time bye all right it's really 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 super bright out guys <clears throat> I saw this yarn and I was so excited and I sent it and I was posting about it on Instagram and I was like what kind of like crazy witchery is this and John found it on Webs's website. Now they did not have all the colors, so I'm warning you right now. But the yarn, I, I can't take it out yet because I want you to see the magic of it. It is uh, UV magic yarn. <laughs> and it's made by Haiku, H-I-K-O-O. And it's called Abracadabra. And they make like uh, four colors, I think. It was pink, blue, purple and yellow so I really want to do maybe a color work for my uh, hat and it's a DK weight I'll just read the stuff it's a DK weight it is 35% superwash merino 50% pro po I get polyproline that's it and 15% nylon it's a hundred yards for 50 grams I want to make a color work hat and I want the yarn that I'm using with this to also be like a white slash cream natural color and I think the color work on it in this yarn is going to be like snowflakes or something and it's going to be for Z and it's going to be like magic Her, she's going to be like magical when she takes it out in the sun because it's going to have like snowflakes appear on it or whatever I ended up uh, putting on it so I'm going to pull these out and hopefully they don't change super fast but I hope you can see that. One is pink, this one's pink, this one's purple. And there's the backs. And they are really cool. Yeah, magic yarn. Should I undo the inside there? It's really cool. It's really, really, really cool. I hope it's showing up on camera well. I'm not quite sure. It's very bright and I can barely see my screen. So again, see you guys. Bye.